guys welcome back to my channel this is Tony Fergie I want to take the time out to thank all my subscribers the new ones the old ones the ones that just keep coming back for more and the ones that have not subscribed yet if you're not subscribed why aren't you now y'all I want to show you guys this video and I need y'all to tell me what you think and a woman is dead after she walked into the mega church of celebrity pastor Joel Osteen in Houston Texas with a rifle and opened fire. Authorities say the woman was armed with a long gun and accompanied by a child around five years old. I people in custody. Two of those people are juveniles. The police also said they recovered several guns, but they didn't say exactly how many. In what was a celebratory event into chaos. This appeared to be a dispute between several people that ended in gunfire. Kansas City Police giving an update on Wednesday's mass shooting during a Super Bowl victory rally for the Chiefs. Many of nearly two dozen gunshot victims are children. At least half of our victims are under the age of 16. Uh, through the partitions, a wave of people come rushing through screaming. That followed, at least one armed suspect was tackled by those in the crowd. Now, I see the gun on the ground. There have been more mass shootings than days already in the year 2024, with 49 mass shootings reported over the past 46 days. These statistics, they're leading many people to worry if the next mass, mass casualty event will happen in their immediate area. News for Jack's anchor, Tarek Miner, sharing some advice that could save your life. Before I go, let's revisit the Global Peace Index real quick, because I think you guys need to be reminded that the United States is currently at 131 on the Global Peace Index for 2023. In 2022, the U.S. ranked around 129, 128. So the overall peacefulness of the United States is actually not getting any better. It's getting worse. Okay, guys, what did you think? Do you think America should have a travel advisory? You know that we need to be very careful of visiting places when we visit the United States of America, such as churches, banks, supermarkets, random places, anywhere in public. I want to know how is it so easy to have travel advisory for everywhere in the world? What level do you think America would be? if she decides to tell the truth about how dangerous certain places are. And it's not even certain places, it's just about anywhere. It depends on where you are and what you're doing, whether it's shopping, service. Look at Joel Osteen Church. Look at what happened. Look at what happened last week for, um, what was that, Super Bowl. Now, guys, Wherever you want to travel to in life, everywhere is dangerous. I know I posted a video regarding Jamaica the other day, and it makes it seem like Jamaica is the most despicable place to ever visit, yet we see a and his wife having fun, and other tourists having fun. You would never go to a supermarket in Jamaica 
and worry about whether you'll get shot. You'll never walk into a random place of worship and worry if someone is going to come in there and shoot it up. You'll never really go to random places and see random shootings just happening just because. It would have to be something just cause. Anyways, y'all, I hope this educates you guys. I hope this empower you guys. And I hope you guys come back for more. Have an awesome, wonderful day. And thank you. And you know Tony loves you. Thank you.